So while I was in the shower, I was rudely interrupted by this mother freaker Clifford. Why'd you wake me up? I mean, he's gonna be miserable. He hasn't had his coffee yet. Ugh, ridiculous. So while I was in the shower, Cliff comes in with this big ass bucket of water, cold water, and just throws it on me. Like, what? What? So, today is a lax day for me. It is before my last two finals. Alright, I'm gonna go to the park. Let's go to the park. That's what I'm gonna do. Are you gonna go to the park? No, I have to memorize lines. Just come to Prospect Park with me. Rehearse what? on your I way. Gotta, while I gotta memorize lines. Rehearse on your way, and while we're there, I can't. Mm -hmm. I know the I I know most of it, but I, I need it in my body, which is why I'm doing all these creepy ass warm ups. Um, where's that thing you put on your back? Because my back hurts. My ball. Shit. <laughs> Ow, my foot. Ow. <laughs> That's not funny. Is it this? Is it the gray one? Yeah, it's the gray one. Uh. Rolling though. I just heated it. What are you doing? Can't make it work. Cliff is eating rice and eggs. Rice and eggs, which I've never heard of before. It's actually not that bad. I should have flavored the eggs a little bit more, but don't judge me. Disgusting! Disgrace! I have to sit home and memorize these lines because my final is this week. Uh, you guys will be with me tomorrow, and Tuesday you'll probably be with Cliff. Or you'll probably be with me Tuesday and tomorrow, Monday. Uh, but here's all the stuff I have to get down. As you can see, my paper's ripped up because I hold it there. And I'm almost there, which I'm excited about. I'm almost there. And I look forward to finishing my first year of college. Yes! <sighs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to episode three of Taking New York. Currently today, we're not going to take any part of Manhattan. But um, we're going to get outside, go to the park. Gonna going to go to Prospect Park. It's a couple train stops away, but it's a nice park. It's worth it. And then we might go to Clark Street. Um, show you guys the promenade. I just wanted to get outside the house today. It's such a beautiful day, and it's my day off. And then I'll have to work for like the next two weeks without a day off. So I decided that maybe it's a good time to get out and enjoy the weather before it gets too crappy. I did see in the forecast that it might rain. As beautiful as it is outside, it might actually rain. So let's hope it doesn't. Alright, so we're at Grand Army Plaza, going out from Prospect Park after dealing with all of the uh, subway stuff and the trains and stuff like that. So, it's going to be nice. Hopefully it's not cloudy over here because when you go into Brooklyn, the weather can change depending on where you're at. And, like the drop of a heartbeat, like yesterday. Yesterday it was, uh, it was very nice in Brooklyn. I get into Manhattan and it was raining. Over there, you can see that's the... Uh, Soldiers and Sailors Ark. Soldiers and Sailors Ark. It says to defend of the Union 1861-1865. But this place is pretty cool. Come over here. Really cool. Back down. It's really cool in some places. And then over here, across from the Soldiers and Sailors Park, you can see the Brooklyn Public Library. Library, public library, not library. That's really cool. And you can't see it, but like in here, there's like detailed like gold people and stuff like that. It's really really cool and interesting. And then over here is Prospect Park. But I always hate coming here, like when I'm not exercising. Like we've been here 
maybe once or twice on a long run. It's like three miles to Prospect Park and then three miles back. So it's been like a six mile run. But like whenever I come here and I, um, I'm not exercising, I always feel like you're like fat because everybody here is exercising, you know? And even the people like out on the lawn, like all of them are exercising. So all the way up till now, I've been taking the normal path and there's like a lot of people, but then I see this and it's like off the beaten path and I decide to take it because I want to see what's so cool about it, but it looks like it's getting ready to be very anticlimactic. <laughs> And it's not gonna be anything at all. Bird, 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 bird. Anyway, so I'm hearing taps being played on bagpipes and I'm hearing drums. There's a lot of people, but I don't get it. Like, what's going on? Is somebody having like a funeral in the middle of Prospect Park? Like, this is a public place to be having a funeral. I get that it's Sunday, maybe it's a festival. But why are they playing taps? Taps is sad. Taps is when somebody dies. So it turns out it was a funeral and they're having it in there. But it's like a celebration because there's just like all these people going into this building. But like it's a funeral and they're like having fun and everything like that. So it turns out that there's actually a cemetery in the middle of Prospect Park. So maybe that's why there is a funeral going on? Now I feel like a douchebag. But what, what strikes me is that on all of these maps, you know, it never tells you where the hell you are. It doesn't tell you like a you are here. Like I have no clue where I'm at. I'm just in the middle of the park. Like how the hell am I supposed to know? But this area down here looks really cool. So let's take this walk. So as many times as I've been to Prospect Park, I've actually never found the lake. Because apparently there's like two really huge lakes. Um, in Prospect Park, and I haven't found either of them, so let's go try to find them. <laughs> if we can find a lake or not. We're on Mission Lake. It's public enemy number one. You can see the difference in the clouds, the nice day over here, and this is where the storm's coming in. But I always like when the clouds are like this, though, because it reminds me of, like, being in a Tim Burton movie. If you know, like, anything of Tim Burton's work, you know that, like, he sometimes has, uh, he has really brightly, oddly placed looking clouds. That's what these remind me of. I don't know why, whenever it's a nice day like this in the city, it always reminds me of that. I don't know. I'm still on the search for this dang lake or pond. I don't know what you would classify it as, but we can't see it. So, let's see what we can come across. Still nothing. Still no lake. I feel like I shouldn't be going up to see a lake. Maybe we'll get a good shot of the park. Maybe we can get a good angle. Who knows? But let's take a look. Oh wow. You can see part of Brooklyn from here. Oh, there's the lake. Found it! Found the lake. Okay, up here. You can't really see much, but you can see this is Brooklyn, and Brooklyn wraps around, wraps all the way around, and then you can see part of the city over that way. It's a really cool spot. This is like on top of Prospect Park. Okay, so I'm walking back from up this way. And I start to feel rain, but the clouds don't look like they go on that far. So it can't be raining that much, but it is dropping every now and then. I hope I can make it back to the subway before, uh, shit. It's gonna rain. The rest of the cultural mix um, will be complete because David is moving from Delaware to New York when he finishes a show that he's in. Unless he's already finished it, but I think he's he's not done it yet. Or he is. I don't know. But whatever the case may be, David is part three to the trio. 
and he has been searching for apartments with us, which has been dreadful finding an apartment in New York City because we have to keep in mind that all of us are gonna be in school come August, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Okay, so as expected, it's raining. So I didn't make it all the way back quite yet. I'm almost there. I'm gonna grab some ice cream. Then I'm gonna go home and watch a really good movie. I don't know which movie I'm gonna watch yet. You look like an idiot because I'm recording. Oh, come on. You had the flash shop. You played me. <laughs> <laughs> There's like these cameras in our high ticket He just talks and talks and talks. Nobody cares. Okay, so I'm going to FaceTime my mother because I want to talk to her. Um, I'll have to wait. I'll have to call you back, Babu. That is rude. Oh, oh, do you see, do you see that? So I am headed to KFC and Cliff is not going. Buy me a double down. I'm not buying your double down, Colby. So Colby told me about this limited, oh, lights are off in our apartment building, which is weird because it's, oh, it's really dark. You probably can't see anything. It's creepy. Like I'm in thriller. So I'm leaving KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I'm heading over to Walgreens to pick up Clifford's ice cream. Alright, so I'm in Walgreens picking out Clifford's stupid haagen ice cream which actually the flavor that he wants isn't even here anymore and I'm talking to Sam say hi Sam who's that? say hi hello so I'm gonna have to deal with it. this stuff when I go home Ugh. why? why? Oh, he's going to be so upset. <laughs> I ate his ice cream. And... Alright, maybe I could look. I don't even see the flavor. So here is the double down. It is literally two big ass pieces of chicken. With some cheese, bacon, and magic sauce. I don't know what it is. The magic sauce is made out of magic. That's good shit. Double downs. Taste delicious. But they are death. In a chicken sandwich. Someday the world is gonna see. You wanna take a shower? Someday the world is gonna see. Baltimore. I am me. That's a wrap for today. Goodbye.